Hi, my name is Yvonne Wan and I'm the creator of Focus Comic. I'm an award-winning artist and I'm also an art educator too. I want to welcome you to today's class where I will teach you how to draw Focus, one of the world's first autistic superheroes, yourself as a superhero and a bank robber against different Arizonian landmarks. You will learn about the beautiful natural environment that surrounds us in Arizona. You will learn how to draw kaiwai style. Kaiwai means cute in Japanese. You will also learn how to draw from a one point perspective. You will also learn a little bit about biodiversity and the art of depicting different facial expressions, feelings and emotions. Before we move on, I want to tell you a little bit about cacti so you can understand what we are drawing. Cacti are used for food, fodder, medicinal or ornamental plants and the source of wood. Cacti are beautiful plants. Many species are endangered due to the loss and degradation of their habitat and illegal collection. However, ongoing conservation efforts are making a big difference in preserving biodiversity. On the right is a large saguaro cactus. The saguaro cactus can only be found in the Sonoran Desert. The saguaro is the largest cactus in the United States and there are plenty in Arizona. On the left is a golden barrel cactus with a pink flower on top. The golden barrel cactus has a globe-like appearance and is recognized by its magnificent color that comes from vertical yellow ribs that lines its edge. Flowers are usually yellow or orange or sometimes pink. Aloe vera on the left behind the sign is a succulent plant species of the genus aloe. The plant is stemless or, or very short stemmed with thick greenish fleshy leaves that fan out from the plant's central stem. The margin of the leaf is serrated with small teeth. The aloe vera plant is one of the world's most studied herbs in the world of medicine. Also known as the burn plant because it soothes burns on the skin. On the far right, the prickly pear cactus has green flat oval shaped leaves called pads that have long and short prickles. It is both a fruit and a vegetable. There are many more cacti in Arizona out in the desert and at the desert botanical gardens too. The art supplies that you need today include paper, pencil, eraser, long and short ruler, sharpener. So let's get started. First we're going to draw a one point perspective road. Here is a one point perspective photo of a road and monument valley in the background. One point perspective is a type of linear perspective that uses a single vanishing point to create the illusion of depth in a work of art. We are going to be drawing the horizon line. Then we're going to put a dot on the center of that line. This is called the vanishing point. And then we're going to draw a line from that dot to the left corner of the page and then another line on the right corner of the page. We have now drawn the road, the sky, and the desert. Next, we're going to draw the road markings by drawing two lines like this, connecting to the dot on that line. This will create a feeling of depth. Next, you're going to be drawing lines going across like this. We're going to be drawing them all the way up. As they go up, the gap gets smaller and smaller to create a feeling of depth. Things in the distance will appear smaller and the things that is nearer to the viewer is going to be bigger. This creates the illusion of depth and distance through perspective. Next, we're going to erase the lines that we do not need, like this. Next, we're going to draw the Arizonian rocks in the distance. You can draw any shaped rocks that you like, or you can draw rocks that represent the Monument Valley. Next. You can leave the rocks plain or you can add all sorts of lines, shapes and texture to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Next, we're going to draw a happy sun like this with his smile and rosy cheeks. And then we're going to draw happy clouds like this. Next, we're going to draw two angle lines like this. And then we're going to draw some cacti 
with, between the two lines like this. The cacti will get smaller and smaller in the distance. We're going to do a single arm Sororo cacti and then a double arm Sororo cacti and then a barrel cacti. And then we're just going to draw some soil like this on the bottom of each cacti. Next, we're going to draw the prickly pear cacti. And then we're just going to draw another angle line like this, another one like this. And we're just going to draw a sign that says, I love Arizona, like this. The lines converge to the dot. You can draw it three dimensional like this, or you can just draw any sign anywhere you want. Remember to leave some space at the bottom for an aloe vera plant, another barrel cacti like this, and some barrel, and a family uh, of cacti like this. Mummy cacti, daddy cacti, and baby cacti. And now we're going to be drawing facial expression. We're going to draw a moustache on the daddy cacti, and then we're going to add the face of surprise on mummy cacti and that means having her mouth wide open like this. Then baby cat eye is going to look sad, so we're going to be drawing some tears and a sad face. Next, we're going to draw a angry uh, expression on the barrel cat eye, and you can draw any expression you want on the aloe vera. I'm going to leave that blank. Now on the sororo, we're going to draw an expression, and then the sororo cactus, has the emotion of disgust. And the barrel plant here. Next, we're going to draw the expression of fear. Next, we're going to draw a cool expression on this cacti by drawing sunglasses. Next, we're going to draw a happy face, um, capturing the emotion of joy on this final cacti. Next, I'd like you to put your name on the top of the page and the year. There you have your completed drawing of a highway to Monument Valley, the desert, and some awesome cacti in the background. I hope you had fun. See you next week.